All right, so you made it to the Wednesday video. Uh, we had enough footage, and I'm like, you know what? Everybody's always on my ass about doing a Wednesday video, and we actually been working on some shit, so let's put out a Wednesday video. We're going to talk about uh, some people that trash talk and say we don't know how to tune nitrous, so I'm going to pull up the whole tune up, tell everybody what we had in it. Um, what else? We worked on the suspension of whole milk. We tried to get the milk truck running, but... Uh, I don't know if last time out we heard a set of lifters, knocked a lobe off camshaft, but of course in the last video we got it running. Uh, we started running it again and uh, it sounds like junk. So I called Porky in New York. We got a set of lifters camshaft. Uh, I know we got a set of lifters. I'm going to call Isky and see if they can ground me out of cam. And we're going to get that thing running and put it back on the streets. 373 gear, you know, 3500 converter. Just kind of make it a little mild because we've been driving on the street a little bit and we're going to go to jail. So <laughs> we're going to calm it down a little bit, but we worked on the suspension and guess what? The motor's coming back. It's being assembled right now. Today's Tuesday. So we're going to get that thing and we're going to try to go to Clarksville this weekend on prep track, run a pro bracket. You shall see in the video. So I hope you guys enjoy Wednesday video. Hope y'all are having a great time with your hot rods. We will see you next time. What's up? I'm the Milkman, and this is Trailer Park Garage. So, got something in the mail, uh, and I seen it, and I'm like, for a trailer park garage, what? But anyways, I uh, figured out pretty quickly it was from the boys over at Iron Horse Garage. So we're gonna crack it open and give it a look. Um, I know we said something about some stickers, but there's a bunch of stuff in here. I don't know if it's a bunch of stickers or what. So I got some. Professional business cards. Looks like we got a few on here. And we got some cool, hey, those are some cool little stickers, ain't I they? I like those. Yeah, I kind of like these. Yeah, they're not like some weird, like, this is like OG. This is our garage. It's like Trailer Park Garage. It's got a trailer park in it, and it's got a garage. Iron Horse Garage. Iron Horse. Self explanatory. That's how, this is how stickers should be. Self-explanatory to what the hell you got going Simple on. Simple and straight to the point. Exactly. Uh, hometown, baby. I like it. So, shout out Nampa, Idaho. Get you some of that. Put on for the city. Uh, thanks, Iron Horse Garage. That was pretty cool. I like those. We're going to have to find a place to put that. Uh, probably post them up on some toolboxes or something. If Dad finds them stickers, they're going on a toolbox. Because Dad's like toolbox sticker fanatic. He loves stickers to put on toolbox. He has old drawers. Yes, multiple drawers now. Did you see how he... Terrible. But anyways, I think we're about to get busy with the suspension on whole milk. There's a prep track race in Clarksville, Tennessee, which is like, I don't know what, three hours? Nothing big. Uh, right up the road, pretty much. I'm taking the bigs off of it and I'm putting on the pro brackets because it's a 28 extreme class, 275, 28s. Uh, so this was a previous radial truck. It's got some Mincer canisters on the back, radial shock. Uh, we got some pro mod valve uh, struts up front. That's what they were on the bottom. Brand new. So I think we're going to make a spring change in the back and a ride height adjustment and a bar change for sure. And I believe the front is gonna be fairly simple. Uh, we're just gonna tighten up the front. 
but I think we're gonna go try to get this thing to separate, uh, something I've never done personally, but Kirsten's hurting. She's got a mid plate. Here, I'll take it. But anyways, I think we're gonna try to get the thing to separate. I've never had one separate before. I've never got one to separate before. But I don't think it's gonna be that big of a chore with this good of a chassis. Uh, this is a really, uh, chassis work on it is, is exquisite, to say the least. So, pretty simple. Tighten up the front. Might have to make a spring change in the rear. I think it's got like 125 on it in the rear. Uh, I haven't had the shocks off and checked, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. <laughs> but we got some 90s, and I think those will work pretty decently. And I, that may even be what they was going to put on it to run a radial, because I had to pro break it brackets when we got it. Good lord. Ooh, pro brackets. But anyways, we're going to change those out. We're uh, pro breakers. So come hang. All right, whoa, got some top secret information on what I plan on doing to the hot rod. Uh, I've got under here, I've done some measuring. So first things first, can't see under there, Kirsten Tyler. But we're gonna take the wheelie bars off, baby, come on. Ow, you're on my leg. Look at this. <laughs> we up in the, in the truck, got the bars, the shocks, and the robot, everything just hanging down. On oh, boo, dang, crazy. She got out. Oh, being little sucks. Yeah, come on. Look at this dude. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. What are, what are you doing? Hey, what? Well, just pick them damn things up. Where are you putting the bars at? Over here. Where's over there? I don't know yet. In the way of everything. All right, well, we got the bars off the thing. So we're about to pull the shocks apart and uh, see what we got for some springs on this dude. All right, so we got the big tires off of it. And this is what we're going to. 28105 Pro Bracket Radial. Uh, cool little tire. It's, it's not a slick. It is a radial, but goodness gracious. It's like a super stiff sidewall slick, in my opinion. Um, everything is out, chilling. I'm not going to check the springs tonight. Uh, I'm going to hang them back up from the top and go in and go to bed. Tomorrow we'll work on this stuff. But I got to, uh, what's wrong with you? Do you see all of these? All these what? Oh, little bugs? Ooh, we'll have to do something about that. Those are Holy weird little bugs. Anyways, I know it's because it just rained. All right, but anyways, we're headed in and going to bed. Tomorrow we'll get back to it. We'll peel these big tires off, put the pro brackets on, uh, check the springs, change some bar angle, and go from there. Okay, so we got the big tires here. I said last night we was gonna put the pro brackets on it. And I was weary about doing it because I didn't know if we was going to get the motor back in time. But let me tell you something. Come on! Shannon just texted us like five minutes ago. And I was out in the shop and I'm like, man, I don't really want to put them pro brackets on for this one race. Uh, if we're, you know, if we're not going to, you know, blah, blah, blah. Boom. Text message. Hey, just an update. I did get your stuff back from the bouncer and Bud is assembling it. Oh, hell yeah. So, we're gonna take the big tires off, pull the bead locks off, put the pro brackets on, slap them on the truck, check out, what did we say last night? Check out the shocks, pull the springs off of them, look what we got, and possibly put them 90s on. So, Make some adjustments up front, not gonna be hard to do. And just go from there. So, join us as we work on this pile of junk. All right, so today we're gonna look at the grid just a little bit, uh, just enough to get some of these 
blowhards off my back. Uh, a bunch of people saying, we don't know how to tune the nitrous. We don't know how to tune anything. Just keep going out there, blowing up your shit. Um, yeah, pretty much. But anyways, we're gonna look at a little bit of the grid here and tell you about the kind of the tune up we had in it. And just really lay it all out on the line just because I don't really care. Um, I'm not hiding anything with our program. We're pretty out in the open. But when you open up your grid, and a bunch of people have been asking how the grid works, so I guess we can kind of go through that, just, just a couple of things. But once you open up your grid, this is your first page it's going to bring you to. Of course, you got to, you know, log into it, plug your USB up. If you can't get that far, then you about like me. But, um... So we had 32 degrees of maximum timing in the thing. We was pulling a total of 14. So we had a 40 jet, uh, 32 in the gas, 40 in the nitrous, Q16. Uh, probably about to switch fuels because Q is, so I don't know. I just wouldn't go spraying the big kit on that and the people around me agree. Um, so I think we're gonna go to like a Renegade uh, 120 Pro Nitrous blend, something like that, or something. But anyways, so we was pulling 14 degrees of timing. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here that we could really show the people. Yeah, step one retard. So when I activate the button, it pulls the 14 degrees. You can put multiple steps in these boxes here, uh, but we just have one for one kit at the moment. Uh, individual cylinder. None, we wasn't pulling anything special. Launch retard, getting us out of the hole, bring it back in, fish hook real quick, stuff like that. Um, so for the guys that have been like tuning nitrous for five, 10, 20 years and they're like, well, we know more than you, I'd hope that you do. But please, in the comments, let me know, hey, you know what? Cause look, I ain't above learning at all. But if you see something wrong with that tune up, and can fight the data that we have where the battery voltage goes to shit and everything stops working, let us know. I've already changed to a 16 volt battery, so if that's your suggestion, we're one step ahead. But anyways, I don't know, I just thought that was funny. People have been blasting us lately and I love it. I think it's hilarious. Um, but they're like, you don't know what you're doing. You need like a 20 jet spread and I'm like, people that have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. But we're getting ready to take the big tires off and we checked the shocks. It's got 80 pound springs on it, so we're gonna leave those on, uh, mess with the front a little bit and make a bar change. So shouldn't be that much work. Uh, last night was terrible because we was tired, me and Kirsten, uh, pulling the tires off, taking an anti-roll bar, loose, pulling the shocks off, everything. It's just a lot because we're not working with a lot of space here and it's not up real high. So let's get to work, come on. All right, so we got the radials put on it. We made a bar change. Um, after that, all we gotta do is just hang the shocks back on it and hook up the anti-roll bar. Thanks to Sunny D, where'd he go? This is Pops. So Sonny's over there peeing. I guess we're not gonna intrude on him now. But me and Pops got the tires changed out. Me and Sonny got the four link bars changed. Hopefully, uh, man, that thing looks ridiculous on there. But hopefully we can get the motor back here pretty soon, Shannon. And then we're working on it now, assembling it. So hopefully we can make a run up probably tomorrow, pick it up Thursday and get to rocking and rolling on this deal. But for this Wednesday video, we are out. You got anything you want to say to them? Uh, I don't have nothing. Nothing? I've got nothing. All Just right. thanks for watching. Sonny, you got anything you want to say? I ain't got nothing. Nothing. Look at these two guys. I got nothing to say. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, goodness. All right, we're out. <laughs>